Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another surprise episode of Ultima Final Fantasy, the ultimate in road trips secretly aligning with 7 Remake Demo, Dude Kime, coming out. Uh, we're both here. Joe uh, Joe is coming out to visit because he had just a you just wanted to do like periodic vacations. <laughs> okay, yeah. Idea. I came I came back to visit Utah. I'm also like really t- thrown by the fact that you played that jingle and it went into one ear. Yeah, it went into one side. How long has that been going on? And is that why the nude clan theme is always really kind of quiet, and then everybody starts talking, and it's like twice as loud? I think as, so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It would be better to just add it in post, but then we're just standing there staring at each other. I guess we could just start. I guess. Welcome to another episode of Nude Clan. Yeah, you could just start and then add it in post. It's not like I it's guess that hard. Could. Yeah. yeah, um I came up for a couple days. Um I was initially going to take the storage I had in LA, throw everything in my car so I would get rid of like a fifty dollar a month expense. Yeah. And drop that off at my parents house and uh that was still the plan as of two days ago when i drove up here and um then i went that morning to go to the storage place and the gate could not open oh my god And there was a handwritten note saying we're sorry the gate won't open the vendor is coming to fix it soon i waited around for about 30 minutes and i was like okay Guess I'm just gonna go visit friends and family. <laughs> that is so, that is so bullshit, I, dude. Yeah, yeah. And then I it was, of course, March first, the next day, and so I <laughs> went ahead and paid for another month God. of the storage facility. And uh, so, yeah, the practical reason for coming up gone. So now it is just kind of a little vacation that I yeah. could definitely not afford. <laughs> yeah. Um, Hence the practical purpose. Yeah, I recorded an episode of the Godzilla podcast yesterday. Don't know how I'm going to mix that or where or when, so that'll be out soon. And then uh, you gave me a text saying that uh, a demo of FF7 was going to come out. I was trying to invite myself on a nude clan, but you guys changed the fucking schedule around. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's funny because we're going to start doing Sunday again this week. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so... (laughs) (laughs) So you almost made it on. So not only not only did um not only did you have an episode of Nude Clan on a day where I couldn't come and join, you also replaced me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I got to find out via listening to the episode you had recorded. Well, there's before. There's a story to that, and the story is that we hadn't decided what we were gonna do yet, and then Zach came over as a guest on two weeks two episodes ago and then when he got here camera just asked him if he wanted to be the fourth host and i was like well i guess the cat's out of the bag now i mean i was gonna wait because my plan was like well i mean we could have a reu- reunion tour for a few months with joe it could be super fun and then then we invite zach on it's not like zach he like it's not like he can be offended by it because he doesn't know about it and then boom he just knows about it i was like well i guess that's fucking over that's I mean, I told you to have Zach be the next host. Yeah, you Because I liked him on there, except that he doesn't talk into the goddamn mic. <laughs> yeah. There's an art to having the, the, the robot penis right next to your yeah. lips at all times. It's got to be within like two to six inches. Yeah. You can't yeah. really. And if you're going to talk quieter, the six inch is not a good idea. See, like here, you can't do this. You can talk to like that here. Yeah. See, the closer you are to the mic, the quieter you can be. The further away the mic is, the louder you have to be. <laughs> yeah. I know that may be difficult for some people to comprehend, but it's just like pretending there's a person with an ear here. Yeah. You know, <laughs> when you're trying to tell them a story, and the louder you get, maybe you get a little further away if you start screaming. I don't know. So maybe it's a robot ear then. Just yeah. phallically shaped ear. Yeah. Like, a, like an elf ear or something. Yeah. Something to that effect. But yeah, you know, I was going to, whatever. I was just going to see if I could hang out on Nude Clan, but I guess Ultima will have to do, you know. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) The show we haven't touched for 
what like four months i was i was hoping it would go a little longer but i did get the switch from cameron yeah oh that's good i was gonna ask about that so i don't know where i'm gonna charge it but i did get the switch from cameron you um, probably charge it at the gym right i could i'm not gonna leave that fucking thing anywhere where some motherfucker could just like grab it yeah yeah oh well, they don't charge they isn't there like some weird stuff going on in LA? Oh no, I think it's about homeless people. That's what it is. Like they can't be charged for like defecating in the streets because it's the idea is that it's not a crime to be homeless. The it's issue like, well, we're not we're not we're not prosecuting it for homelessness. <laughs> we're prosecuting for taking a shit in the middle of the road. The issue <laughs> is I have uh, been told, or as I have heard, uh, not looking any of this stuff up. Um, is that at some point in California's recent history, the prisons were getting too full. And so they had to relax on a variety of laws Mm. and change some felonies to misdemeanors and, uh, like, change the amount of money you have to be able to... that you have to steal in order for it to be a felony and shit like that. So they're basically doing it so that they... uh, they don't keep on filling up prisons. Yeah. Yeah. So that that was their compromise for that. So I'm not it's not it I'm sure a chunk of it has to do with like I'm sure a chunk of it um contributes to the homeless population, but uh yeah, that's in general like what it is. So there's a lot of there's a lot of illicit drug use that's yeah. just there in that homeless in in those homeless encampments because, you know. Well, they're not going to prosecute it. Yeah. I mean, luckily, though, I did hear I did hear the other day that uh, the wonderful governor over there, he said he's going to... Gavin Newsom? Yeah, he wants uh, doctors to be able to prescribe housing as well as uh, as well as well drugs. So, I mean, that ought to that yeah, clear it all up. I don't know where they're going <laughs> to... Are they going to pick that up at the pharmacy? Yeah, or yeah. They just go pick up a house. <laughs> they go pick up a dog kennel, maybe. It's a fuck. You go to the Home Depot and they give you a shed. Like you're like, all right, well, here's your shed. Oh my god, just go fucking. You just here's the shed on a wagon. You can wheel it out. Just put it wherever you want. Anyway, instead of oh man, that'd be way nicer though. Instead of like tent camps, it'd be like shed camps. Just a little dog. Cla- yeah, yeah, it'd be way classier. You're like, what's with the sheds? The, the, the disheveled like sheds with the doors facing different directions. What the fuck is that? Legit though. If if I had the money to put into it, I would make a business that was like those those Japanese pod hotels. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you just live in them. Yeah, you just pay me rent. <laughs> you, you, and you make it like a truck stop where you can like buy food and you can shower and everything like that. But you just have the pod that you sleep in at night. Yeah, and yeah. That's a great idea. Just a yeah. pod building. I've walked into this just for all those starving artists like myself. Just yeah, pod building. I've walked into this townhome and I've like looked and think, thought like I bet you I could put a lot of those pods. How in many here. pods? How many? How many laying down pods can I put in here? <laughs> yeah, I can just like attach pods to the side of the wall. Yeah, just have like three pods for every six feet. It's fucking Podville. You come in and there's like thirty people in pods. And everybody pays like two hundred bucks a month for rent or something like that. Here, yeah. here, yeah. over there, you could probably do six hundred. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, easily. Just a pod, yeah. I mean, where else, what what other cheaper place are you gonna get in L.A.? Yeah, what are you gonna get a, an apartment with six other people for seven <laughs> hundred? Anyway, don't think so. L.A. has priced me out. Um, yeah, yeah, it's too bad. I am uh, so I even out of living out of a van, really. Out of a, out of a car. Yeah. Oh, I you wish it was a van. You didn't get the van? No, I never got the van. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, I got. I ripped out the back seats of my car and made it a well, needed a living space. Your wait. Oh, you got that red car. That's right. Okay. Yeah, the little red car. I, I for some reason I was still thinking of the Hyundai and I was like, what back seat? I mean, it's about the same size as the Hyundai. Oh my god. Yeah. Anyway, what about the trunk? Did you rip that out too? Can you get the? It's a hatchback. There's no trunk. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, that kind of sucks. That's feet room. But. What I do... <laughs> okay, guys. It looks roomy enough, though. Yeah, so what happened was I got further and further into debt slowly. Well, sometimes quickly, and then sometimes slowly in <laughs> L.A. And I would go back and forth depending on how many hours because my job seasonally would give us more hours and like busier parts of the year and then less hours and like, you know, starting around now and then through like the summer. Um, or if people quit, you'd get more hours or something like that. Cause I just never changed jobs when I was down there stupidly. Um, and, uh, so like my, my finances would always be like on the, 
I was basically just living. I was just working to survive there mm -hmm. and to learn Spanish. I think <laughs> that's really what it was. And so, like, um, well, you have survived in your Spanish. I have is survived, and I know an immense amount of Spanish in comparison to what I knew before. So, um, I was in a situation with a terrible roommate. Obviously, you guys heard about that. Oh, <laughs> gets even better. By the way. <laughs> Um, and, and, um, my credit was wrecked because of how much debt I was in. It's not because I didn't like pay off anything or anything like that. It was just the amount of debt I have versus the amount of credit I have is pretty close <laughs> <laughs> in terms of numbers. Um, and, um, a lot of expenses came from the movie. I would end up like, I paid off some stuff and then I'm about to pay another thing for the movie, which is done by the way. And um, I'll let you guys know when that comes out. Um, and uh, so that just kept on happening and still working on the movie while I was over there doing a couple little film things with people I knew, but not that much. Um, and uh, working on that political campaign, the yeah. videos I did. For yeah. there. Uh, vote for Jake Jong for L.A. County Supervisor, by the way. Um, and... Uh, I was in a situation where it was just like my finances were shit and I could either re-up with the horrible management that I was in with the apartments and of course have my favorite roommate there with me and just like another just another like six months of hell like just like working to survive and not being able to have a moment to myself <laughs> 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 and uh keep on living with this person who was driving me nuts um or i could move in with a with a friend uh which i had like one one guy i could possibly move in with and then uh or or all those hashtag van life videos i was watching for the last year making me go god i wish i could travel and just like live in a van that sounds so cool and like that became an option and i was like one of these has only one negative, and that's safety. <laughs> yeah. And even then, like, how safe am I really with all these people I don't know? Like, living in this house, in this apartment that's already been broken into. Like, really? What am I giving up here? And uh, truth was almost nothing. And I, I did it successfully for about a month and a half, and then my car broke down. My car house broke down. And that was the kind of the final straw where I was like, I need to go back to Utah. I'm going to earn some money, get myself on my feet. I was planning on, or we were in talks for me to move to Virginia sometime in late summer, as it is. Like, yeah. that's kind of what a plan was. And as it gets warmer in the year, I don't want to be living in the car anymore. Yeah, that's going to get pretty, yeah, pretty the, hot. The car is going to get hot. I might be able to hit swing it with a van, like a larger space, more air. But uh, and a car is not going to work. So, yep, I'm moving back for like four to six months. It's kind of my range. I'm just going to come back to earn money. And then I'm going to get the fuck out of here again. So, yeah, I was considering going on nude claim for a little while. That might have been fun. But fuck you guys. That's all right. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what it is. They just like <clears throat> they're they're just really odd about it. They're like, no, I mean, maybe we could have them on for like certain things. I was like, well, what things? I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> it seems like you're all butt hurt for no reason. <clears throat> and it is funny because you did. You were the one to suggest Zach, and then immediately after that, you're like, oh yeah, I should go back on too. <laughs> and it's like, well, I mean, it's kind of fucking dumb. Like, which one? Are you gonna actually come on or what? But I mean, even if you didn't, it wouldn't really matter because then we could just ask Zach. So, yeah, I don't know what the resistance is. I don't know what the reasoning. You just have five people. But yeah, we could still do a few, I guess. I mean, I don't know if I were to come back. The, just saying, the uh, <clears throat> the soundboard would be dusted. Yeah. yeah, and the sound circuit would be complete. And I would get the, <laughs> the sound onto the other side of the headphones, possibly. Possibly? Yeah. Never know. Yeah. But yeah, maybe it is better for me to just focus on whatever and play the mana games, which I, once again, I got the Switch. 
um, from Cameron, so that yeah. will actually start very soon. Yeah, there's two of them on there. There's three, technically, but the first one is uh, the one we already did. Are so. the other ones in the Wii store? we got to find out about that, don't we? Yeah, I know I have... I know I have two or three of the other ones. One's a PS2, one's a PS1 game. I think I just have the two. I thought the whole collection was going on the Wii. I, the Switch, you mean? Yeah, sorry. I thought, I thought so, too. But the Wii, too. <clears throat> the collection. It's got a Wii 3, though. Oh, it's a Wii 3, that's Wii right. 3. There was a console <laughs> in between that no one bought. Yeah, the that's Wii U. That's right, the Wii U. So it's the, the I mean, it's the precursor to the Switch. It had, like, the controller in your hand. Yeah, it had the huge the tablet little, the, thing. The, the, yeah. Yeah, and then they just like got rid of the console and just the only the tablet <laughs> remained. And then it sold like crazy. So they almost had a great idea last time. It's just I mean, that's what it took, man. They had to put the two ideas of the Wii and the Wii U together. That's right. <laughs> and the DS. <laughs> and the DS. And make the Switch. That'll be cool though. I mean, with the Switch, we'll have hopefully it'll just be moving forward. They'll just have one mobile like hybrid console. And you don't have to worry about DS and then... I wonder what PS5 is going <laughs> to... I think they'll have a little screen. Uh, the DualShock I, 6 or whatever. I have a nice little screen on there. I don't think so. Yeah, I doubt it too. Yeah, I, maybe oh. maybe 6, but... Yeah, maybe. Uh, so anyway, this is about the Final Fantasy VII demo that came out. Yeah. yeah and we, we we played it. We played it for an hour. We did. We streamed it on the the Twitch. Thank you guys to everyone who... Happened to come out. I mean, we didn't really announce it or anything like that. It was just like... That was a surprising amount of people that popped up on your television screen. I was like, it's like nine people watching <laughs> this right now. Yeah, it was kind of nice, you know, yeah. for no announcing, no no, no advertising for us coming on. It was just like, oh, hey, guys. There was just a little notification for them, and it just popped up. Boink. Yeah, that's the, that's the UFF loyalty right there. That's right. Speaking of loyalty, uh, speaking of series loyalty, of course, we were... Um, I I have been the biggest cynic of the Final Fantasy VII remake, I think, in the entire community. Probably, yeah. Probably. Because everybody seems to want this fucking game. And everybody is, like, fawning over these trailers and everything like that. And I am, I'll be honest, guys, still kind of underwhelmed by it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I played the demo, and uh, quick overall thoughts. It It seems like it'll be a decent playing game. Yeah. Yeah. It's got and it looks really good and it feels pretty good so far. There's obviously some little issues we'll have and we could probably talk about that, but uh that's my overall opinion on it. Barrett Barrett's voice something that's going to be hard to get used to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's pretty over the top. Uh, that guy's really going Oh, he's really going for it. He's going full ham on that uh, on that Barrett performance, that very Tropic <laughs> Thunder esque performance. Um, Maybe that's the only movie they've seen since Mr. T's, like since uh, Rocky Two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> since Rocky Two, they they have Rocky Two, Man on Fire with Denzel Washington for Saws, A Team. And then A Team, <laughs> yeah. And then now they have, uh, um, it's all Mr. Tropic T. Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> but Mr. T couldn't wouldn't do the voice, so they had to get they had to find another movie that had do a you black think, guy. Do you think they enough. ever approached him? I don't. I doubt it. I, God, I, it's so annoying too. So that would have been so cool. <laughs> it's perfect. I mean, this guy's fine. He's just he is ridiculous, and Mr. T would be absolutely ridiculous. In this movie, but that is so clearly who he's based off of. Like, that's what he is, man. Yeah. <laughs> Although they they gave him like a military haircut, and not a, like a mohawk. Yeah, that's and true. They toned down the hair. Yeah. And then he also doesn't have like that weird vest from Advent Children. That weird like mesh. Yeah, the like cloth. The, the weird BDSM <laughs> mesh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Couldn't find the word to describe <laughs> yeah. it. The BDSM mesh. Now it's just chest hair, which yeah. is much preferred, honestly. Yeah, it's less. It makes you feel less weird. Yeah, it's much more him. natural. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I have only seen a few people ever wear like a fishnet <laughs> shirt, and I didn't like it either time. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't really into it in public or at work, which is where one of them was. It's was really weird. Is it a? It was a dude. Yeah, it was a dude. Yeah. Ooh. 
Yeah. I was like, what are you doing, man? <laughs> I'm like, we already know. I mean, you don't have to wear the fishnet shirt. <laughs> like, it's pretty clear. I don't it's... get it, Christ. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, no one's going to say anything about this. It's kind of weird. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, it plays a lot like FF fifteen. There's some. There's the stagger stuff. They and the huge health bar. It feels like they added from FF thirteen almost. Yeah. Um. So yeah. there's kind of an al- amalgamation between those two deals. Like kind of going into potions and stuff like that. Your screen, um, is put into slow slow motion, which is what they did in fifteen. You're switching in between characters if you want. So that's also fifteen. So this is very fifteen heavy. We played, the, of course, the normal version we didn't play the uh the one that apparently is more close to the original game for uh when we set up the game oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah. the setup for the seven remake yeah yeah we also haven't played 15 since it came out so that's another thing to take into consideration who knows how it plays now it probably it's probably not that different but you know 15 is the the there's a bunch of zip and zooming around because of uh uh, teleport Noctis's thing. teleport thing. Yeah. So that that's much more of a thing in 15. But otherwise, yeah, it's still pressing square or holding down square. Yeah, there's uh, shortcuts yeah. for <clears throat> certain weapon attacks, certain abilities, which is kind of a little bit more interactive than 15 was. Because with 15, you would just kind of change whichever weapon you were using. So based on what button you yeah, were holding. Yeah, you put all that in the menu and then... Yeah, and this one, it's kind of like the armature stuff or the ally attacks where you have like short hot keys. You can just press like L1, X, L1, circle, L1, whatever, and you can assign certain abilities, certain spells and whatnot and what have you to those slots. So it's a it's a little more action kind of more action oriented than 15 but the weird thing is it's also slower than 15 so it's kind of like you know you you, you give a little and you 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 lose a little at the same time when it comes to the action and fast pacedness of it yeah um it looks gorgeous and yeah. all we did was the the only thing that the the demo is like the very beginning of the original game it's just that that uh <laughs> mission to uh blow up the reactor yeah without interesting story take yeah yeah i don't know how i feel about that i don't like it i don't think i do either i don't like it at all (laughs) i think it kind of cheapens the whole like cost of what they're doing you know uh the retcon spoiler alert real quick the retcon being that yes they blow up the mako reactor dealio but then heimdinger (laughs) <laughs> uh and mr and the president shinra have like an eye to eye moment and he's like do it and then he- yeah. heimdinger uh presses something on his galaxy phone and all the robots that were attacking you in that facility they start self-destructing the the reactor the plant there yeah it doesn't that to make a giant explosion as opposed to the small explosion that wouldn't have harmed anybody i i don't understand what the purpose of doing that would be to make the characters less terroristy the main characters of final fantasy 7 i mean that i get i don't understand why they would do that because that cheapens i think it cheapens their character arc i think it cheapens what they're doing because it's the idea is that you is that they're trying to stop this horrible thing from happening but then they do a horrible thing too and it's like it makes it kind of ambiguous as to well which one's really more horrible but now it's like well clearly shinra is just the bad guy you know like president shinra is crazy like why would you blow up your own reactor that's the thing i don't understand like this is the first reactor that's been to make the people who go against shinra seem evil it's uh, God. It's it really yeah. it reeks of like nine eleven was an inside <laughs> job. Like it's so ridiculous. It it really does kind of bother me like a lot. And the the thing is, is that the characters don't know. They still think they blew it up. They don't know that it was those guys. And so it really doesn't help. It doesn't change. It doesn't alter their arc because they believe that they blew it up and they'll have to deal with the consequences. Yeah, is there going to be some like scene later on where like Heimdinger and Cloud are talking? He's like, I did it. Yeah. I blow it up. 
Also, Heimdinger's voice acting way over the top as well. <laughs> yeah, I, I I joke they should have had uh, they should have had Donald Trump voice uh, President Shinra. <laughs> like, do it, Pence. Do it. <laughs> blow up the reactor. We're gonna make. We're gonna blow up the reactor. We're gonna make Avalanche pay for it. <laughs> 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 like, I just don't understand why they would do that though. Like, unless they had already blown up another reactor, and now it's just like, well, <laughs> fuck it. They're going to continue terrorizing us. I just forgot the name of the main city that you're in. Midgar, right? Midgar, yeah. We're going to make Midgar great again. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> it, it just seems it's weird. a shithole down there. <laughs> yeah, the slums. <laughs> the slums are a shithole country. It's a shithole country. anyway. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been such a good voice cast. God, that's such a big missed opportunity. Mr. T and then... <laughs> Donald Trump for the president. Of course. Amazing. You know, he's available. That's right. He's not busy. <laughs> just cut no, out. He really isn't. Yeah. Just cut out some, you know, just don't worry about the virus outbreak. And just then cut out some golf time. We'll cut out some Twitter and some golf, and you got yourself a Final Fantasy VII cameo. Hey, come on, Trump. You could be earning more. You can be earning some voice acting money right now instead of being on the golf course there spending it. That's know? right. Yeah. Yeah. You could crush mm-hmm. it. But uh, you can have the number one video game, number one television show. That's right, number one position in the country. Yep, there you go. You could have been even greater. See, you, you could have been it. greater by one more, <laughs> one one more, one more uh, great one, level of great, one more hierarchy. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, the game does look really good. Um, for the most part, I don't mind the like slight changes they made. I mean, it's not really. There's not really anything else changed except for the layout of stuff. Like it's a little different. I was really missing the the scene where all three of them have to time their computer hits. Oh yeah, when they're push, pressing the fucking button. Yeah, they're pressing all the buttons. As far as I could tell, it seems from my memory of Final Fantasy VII, it seemed like three different computers where they all had to press it at the same time. But it was like the full keyboard. Like yeah, they were taking their big fists and they were just like. Pum. Uh, pummeling it at the same time. Yeah, yeah. They were to get the door to open. That wasn't in this. They were raising their hands above their heads and then bringing them down violently on the keypad. <laughs> like that. We we all remember that from Titus and Ten, right? When he's underground and he just fucking like <laughs> he just bangs on the, on the computer. It's like, oh, I got it. Don't worry. And he's just. <laughs> You're like, what an idiot. That's never going to work. Is that like some on. inside joke for all these computer guys that make these games, like these computer programmers? And shit. <laughs> like, Maybe. Yeah. This is what other people do. Yeah, stupid. They don't bastards. understand the art, the art of the machine. Yeah, yeah, they're just savages. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, but that was there's. I don't know. There's like a bunch of subtle differences. The areas look really similar. It's kind of cool, like coming across an area that you remember, and you're like, oh man, this looks really similar, but so much better. Um, so I like the design. I like the character designs. I think they're all pretty good. Jessie's super hot. Um, uh, yeah, she is. Good. I'm I'm excited to watch her break her fucking back on the on the stairwell like last time. Mm-hmm. That'll be that'll be interesting. No. Paraplegic Jesse <laughs> for like five minutes until she dies. <laughs> there was a part where Cloud did a little jumperoo and Jesse was like, "That's really cool." And like, that's not something that happens normally in her world. And yeah. I'm like, hmm. I guess we're just gonna. We're going to think that Advent Children... I guess Advent Children doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, I guess. Like, why Why is he able to do that stuff? Unless it's just the Mako, you know? Yeah, maybe, but then why can Tifa do it in Advent Children? That's true. Tifa could fly the fuck around, and it doesn't matter. That's true, yeah. yeah part, she's just like... The momentum of whatever is keeping her on the wall, giving her enough time to, like, look up and, like, frog hop off the wall... <laughs> Come on. Like, come on. Yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> um, yeah, that is, that is weird. There's that inconsistency that seems odd to like be like, whoa, that's super impressive. And then the, the whole inside job thing, I don't really understand. But the controls are good uh, for the most part, except for the dodge mechanic. It sucks. Yeah, it's kind of slow, I think. Um, it, it, it takes too much of your time. It's it also takes... in a weird spot. Yeah. I don't Yeah. Hopefully you can mess with the controls or something or they make it a little better. I mean, if we remember and this is something I brought up when we were streaming the the uh the sky demo mm-hmm. um from fifteen. That was dodging and parrying also sucked. Yeah. yeah, they were they were really broken and it was like 
forever to get through that part of the tutorial because you're like, it doesn't actually, you don't actually press it when you're supposed to, when the game told you to. It's like the, it's like a callback to the laser of the, the scorpion, which is the final boss of this demo. It's mm-hmm. like when it tells you to attack when its tail is up, and then you get I'm fucking I'm not going to die from a goddamn scorpion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, we just played a clip from the game, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, that's what that was. <laughs> Pretty much, man. <laughs> it, I, I think you're right. When, you, when we were playing, he, Joe said that uh, the game is going to be kind of distracting with his voice in it. I think it is going to take a I while. I mean, I was watching scenes and I like wasn't paying attention to what he was saying because I was paying attention to how he was saying it. Yeah. Like, I was too distracted by Barrett. <laughs> Actually, they went full ham with that shit. They did, yeah. He's in the elevator freaking out about why they have to do the mission. We gotta save the planet. I hear the planet cry. Yeah. Don't you? Yeah. Cloud's like, (laughs) no. Uh, No. (laughs) Because I'm not a psycho. Yeah. And he's like, I'm like, who are you talking to here? We're both on the same, we're all on the same team. Like, what what are you bitching about? Like, it just seems like you're just raging. You gotta prove yourself. Then yeah. do the damn job. Yeah. You got you got a bad employee and a terrible power hungry supervisor. <laughs> That's the the, the, the like, uh, dynamic here. <laughs> Just fucking terrible. Terrorist uh, terrorist manager. That's right. Terrorist yeah. management. Terrorist management. Yeah, my degree in terrorist management. <laughs> yeah. I, I I feel like yeah I feel like that kind of cheapens the uh, the moral plight of the game though at least one of them. With them not being the ones that actually blew it up. Although, I mean, you could argue that they, they plan to blow it up anyway, so it doesn't... How much does that really matter? But I think it kind of I mean, does unless matter. when they, like, get on the other side of that thing, because obviously we didn't see the end. They didn't uh, see the aftermath. They just went up into an elevator, and then they showed us some, like, random clips from, like, in the near future part yeah. of this game. Um, does... Every five minutes for the next hour. <laughs> you will never get out of Midgar. I, that's... That's kind of what it's seeming like. Yeah. The worst part of Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. The, the entirety of this game. Yeah, and it's supposed to be a full-sized game. Um, of course, last time they told us Adam Ant Toys was going to take like 20 hours to beat and 15. He's like, oh no, 20 in-game hours, which is 15 minutes. <laughs> I, I think it still took Adam me Adam Ant like Toys took hour. me two hours. Yeah, it was, it was a while. It was- yeah, of hell. It was really shitty. Yeah, it was poorly programmed and clunky as fuck. <laughs> they didn't. I don't know if they fixed it. <laughs> if they didn't, then there's no. There's that's no right. Shame. You can kill him with the ring now. Yeah, you can just sap his life out. That's how they fixed it. You know. Yeah, that's that's it. <laughs> I like would be. You can stand far away and sap his life out with the ring slowly. That would be pretty amusing. Quickly, seeing know. him turn into like stick. Figure adamant. I mean, we saw him do all sorts of weird contortions already. <laughs> yeah. I saw the inside of his eyeball and shit. Like, yeah, God, what a shitty, shittily programmed fight. It's so fucking lame. And it was like such a spectacle every time they showed it off in the trailers. Too, they're like, "Whoa, that thing's huge!" And you know what? It looked good in certain angles. Yeah, when you weren't in fighting, the game, it, yeah. yeah. When you were approaching it, it looked fine. When you were glitched through it, then when you were like at its legs and like. I don't know what I'm hitting right now. <laughs> like yeah. back and forth craziness. Oof. And somehow targeting a part that you can't actually hit would give you a crit every time, even though you're still mm-hmm. hitting the same part that you were hitting before you targeted that part. But somehow double damage. Yeah, it's a mess. But I don't know. I think I think it looks pretty cool. I mean, I liked it. Um, I'm glad they released it when they did. That's kind of weird timing, honestly. I mean, they delayed you. the game a little bit. They did, yeah. They're they like, did. Here, here, please don't be mad at us. <laughs> wasn't it? It was supposed to come out like early March, wasn't it? Or something like that? Or 20th or something? Yeah, I thought it was March. Yeah, so it should be out this month. And we got the demo instead. So I'm kind of wondering if maybe it'll be pushed back even more. Yeah, I, I can't wait for the um, the <laughs> the survey we fill out after the demo. Yeah. Yeah, and then they, they make... Although to be fair, they did do a lot of like improvements on 15 after that thing so that's definitely not the the issue with 15. yeah yeah they did um this year has kind of been a big year for delays honestly for... yeah i heard last of us two was that the one yeah last of us delayed? two i'm pretty sure 
What's the late? I know it at least isn't coming out for like months. And then also uh, Sonic, Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. They delayed Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. They oh, did. the scene, the one scene that made me laugh really hard was the latte scene. Oh yeah, that was yeah. pretty funny. Yeah. Pretty much that entire movie, I was just like kind of bemused smile. Like that was <laughs> that was my enjoyment level through Sonic. I was like, well, this is enjoyable mediocrity like I, i'm not hating myself right now watching yeah, this thing. yeah and and um and then that scene happened and then i i <laughs> really busted up and i was laughing about it for like five minutes <laughs> that that is the best scene in that movie yeah i like the emails one too that was pretty funny when the they like come in and he's got like the fucking sonic under the under the blanket and the her the, his wife's sister is like what do you got under there so like, you got uh something something and then she said emails oh the reference to hillary clinton, hillary clinton yeah, reference. Email thing. i was like oh that's <laughs> kind of funny kids movie yeah i was like that's for us that's for me <laughs> it's for me then i looked around and it was all adults and i'm like oh well <laughs> we're all just losers here i guess <laughs> i guess three jokes are for us and everything else is for no one <laughs> but yeah pretty mediocre um, yeah, it's very mediocre. <laughs> yeah. Jim Carrey was pretty great, though. I liked him a lot. But uh, they only did have a few funny, funny scenes. But it also, I watched it and Birds of Prey the same day, and they both start the same way. With the, you won't guess what happened here. Let's go back in time thing. Now, Birds oh, really? of Prey like fucks with it a little bit, but they still both did it. And I was like, oh my god. Yeah, and then you go into like a casino. You go into a showing of casino, and you're like, "Fuck, three for three. It Sonic had <laughs> Sonic had a better third act, yeah, than Birds of Prey did. Birds of Prey, Birds of Prey had a better two, like first and second act, though. So you think it's a better movie? I think overall, Birds of Prey is the better movie. Wow, of like the movies, I was just like, okay, I got an AMC pass. I better go watch the movies. I was like, okay, these ones are the ones. Yeah, how long do you are you gonna keep that now that you're out here? Yeah. There's an AMC kind of near where I'm at. Oh, you fuck. It's so, probably not a dog dog pile piece no, of shit. No, it's not. It's not. AMC it's a either. One. This one fucking... Oh, man. I went there to see Phantom Thread, and like the doors were locked for a long time. There were like a ton of people outside. And then one guy comes up and opens up, and then he's the guy behind the concessions. And I'm like... Do, 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 <laughs> do. Yeah. Like, it's bad. And then the line just lined up at the tickets, and then we waited for someone else to come in. And I'm like, dude, what the fuck? This used to be a nice fucking place, like, ten years ago. And now it's destroyed. Like, what, they get rid of the Tucanos down here, and suddenly you just don't need to show up to work? Did they get rid of the Tucanos? It's in, uh, it's at University Mall now. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's why I was, I'll never go to that area. Yeah, there's no reason. <laughs> there's no reason to go. The MC sucks. The bookstore's gone. The Tucano. Really, it was the Tucanos. They brought oh, yeah, there was the borders there. there, too. Yeah, yeah, they closed down, too. Shit. <clears throat> All there is now is the a The passing shitload. of time and the death of retail. That's right. All there is now is just a shitload of pokey stops, but there's no reason to go there. Pokey stop. That's all I remember is like one every ten feet. <laughs> but, yeah. I, uh, yeah, Sonic was... Yeah, this is, uh, Joe gets a second opinion on Sonic. That's right. as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I enjoyed it. Yeah, Jim Carrey was great. I mean, the, uh, in the movie that he was in, it was fine. Uh, but that part of Jim Carrey, like that middle scene, oh, so good. And then, um, yeah, Birds of Prey. Did you watch that one? No, I haven't. No. I haven't even seen the last Star Wars movie yet. I'm just like... Uh, okay. Apparently controversial opinion, because it's only controversial to those who like The Last Jedi. I think The Rise of Skywalker is a movie that I enjoyed thoroughly. I enjoyed thoroughly, and it would have been better had they not had to fix a bunch of issues with The Last Jedi. Any issue in Rise of Skywalker is because they had to fix that fucking turd pile of, <laughs> of story problems that they pulled from Last Jedi and they had to continue on with. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny. He's like the fixer, man. He's the, he's the one that comes oh, J- in. Yeah. JJ comes in and fixes things. I think the critics are exactly opposite wrong on those two movies on that Rotten Tomato score where like the new one is rotten 
and uh, Last Jedi is like 88% or some shit. It needs yeah. to be switched. I think... And most of the people I have talked to agree with me. Yeah. I think there's something to be said about... It's like when season seven of Game of Thrones happened. And I know you like... You don't dislike season eight. I don't. But like everyone that didn't like I mean, there's season... There's many good things about it to dislike it. I still don't like it for a bunch of reasons. And I think it is worse than season seven... Don't think but not by a whole lot. Seven. But the, it's like season seven has like a ninety five, and then season eight has like a like a sixty, and everyone's like they fucked it up in season eight. I'm like, you know, they started fucking it up like at season five. Like you guys were just like high on the horse until like <laughs> the very end. But I mean, I've had problems with it. A little little problem here, a little problem there for like I think season plus six, six is years. My six 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 is really good. Yeah, that's my second favorite. There's still some there's still some potato moments in season six, but. I think it's one of those things where now, like, they've got the last one and, like, oh, they hate it. It's like, oh, it just ruined everything. And it's like, well, the one before, I mean, you're not talking like it was, we're not talking peak performance here. But I think Last Jedi is way worse than episode, or in the last two seasons of Game of Thrones. (laughs) To be fair, I hate that movie, so... Oh, the last last Jedi. Oh, And there's, I know multiple people that really like it. And I'm like, why? They, they quote it as their favorite. But then they're always like, I don't really like Star Wars that much. It's no, like, you're talking about Greg Troyan. If and Abraham. Specifically. Both of them, it's their favorites, yeah. No. And they'll both hear it, yeah. No. It's like, why? How is there a, how is there no. a community of you people? No. One of you, I can understand. No, 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 no. Yeah. And then I also have heard people praise the... It's the thing I can't get over. I mean, like, it's bad the, enough what they did with Luke Skywalker's character... Yeah. Just that inconsistency there. It's just really bad. The flashbacks. Like yeah. kinda how they like broke the actual like visual style of Star Wars. Uh, there's bad special effects. <laughs> there's bad setups to action scenes where they're like, You gotta get away from the ten foot beam. Like Yeah. It's a ten foot beam. You don't have to be right there. Or the Leia in space thing. I laughed Leia so hard at in that. Space. <laughs> I that that is the worst part of that movie. So fucking loud. And they could have killed her then too. I know. And, and she's it would have been fine to be like, oh, she's sad, it's sad she's in space, but instead we had fucking stupid ass looking. <laughs> this series has the has a blank check when it comes to the budget, and yet Princess Leia in space pulling herself out. Not only is a stupid scene, but looks ridiculous. <laughs> it looks so It looks bad. so bad. And like right before it, you're like, man, this is kind of, wow, I'm surprised Leia died. Like, that's kind of rough. And then she just fucking <laughs> zip lines back. Like, just <laughs> fucking, yeah, it looks so shitty. And oh, then I they, guess now Princess Leia is somehow like super powerful. In the yeah. Force. Oh. Yeah. And then, of course, that. That pays off later, from what I've heard. But it's uh, like, what, should, what they did with her in the in the third one, you know, because they, they because they had to add that extra ten minutes into the movie, because of course they didn't get rid of her in the last movie. Yeah. Oh my god. Um, that was uh, yeah. But the Kylo Ren stuff really makes the third one a lot stronger. Um, God, a lot better than like the comedy routine that the Kylo Ren stuff was in the second movie. Yeah, between the weird relationship between those characters and how they just like kill off their big baddie, you know, just to yeah. have a twist. Yeah, super dumb. Like, and the cinematography being beloved is the one thing that I never understood about that because like there, that part is really cool. Looking. There's some cool production design with like the the red against the white, and that that stands out. But I think but most the rest of the movie is pretty standard. Like the throne room is cool, and then the salt part where they're dropping the 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 red dust or whatever on the salt planes. Yeah, that looks it's really the red cool. against the white. Yeah. yeah, but everything else in that movie, I was like, it just looks like a movie. That's not really like, cinematography. That's uh, that's production design and costume design. And yeah, which the episode seven had amazing. They all, all do. of it. Yeah, they all all three of those movies do. Yeah. Um. So I don't know, like. That one's that one pulls more focus into it. It's a different cinematographer, but yeah, I don't know. And uh, yeah, I liked I liked the third one a lot. Yeah, better than the. 
Last Jedi. It was kind of a big year for like closing things off because it was the end of the Marvel yeah. run. It was the end of Game of Thrones. And they the land, they of, stuck it a little better, honestly. The end of Star Wars. Mm. So yeah, some stumbles, but I don't know. Terminator. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I saw that one. So, uh, that one's more mediocre than Sonic. I'll tell. You, I'll give you that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, glad we got some movie reviews. Yeah, in here we too. got some movie time. I mean, it is like two in the morning, and my bedtime's ten. So, oh wow, yeah, I'm really pushing it right now. Well, you did gain an hour coming back. Your body doesn't know that. <laughs> like, I don't know what I don't know what's going on time wise. <laughs> like, I have no idea. It's still about two in the morning, but yeah. Okay, well, I'm yeah. gonna crash at your couch if that's okay. Yeah, yeah. I bought I bought some Corona lights because uh, the joke was gonna be you brought the coronavirus from L.A. with you, and so we uh, might as well embrace it. But then I forgot to break them out. So <laughs> thanks. Now I just have a sick pack of beer. You have a sick pack of beer. Sick pack, yeah. It is a sick pack. <laughs> it's that Corona beer. It's the Corona beer. Yeah. All right, man. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this bonus episode of UFF. We will come back with a game review next. I think probably a mana game. Maybe FF Seven. <laughs> probably yeah. a mana game. Yeah, we should have a mana before then. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, thanks for hanging out, guys. And until next time, enjoy the grind. Fucking Christ.